Okay, so my kids are playing nicely, so I'm gonna attempt to edit this one real quickly, um, which means that they'll probably end up trying to kill each other. So if you hear screaming in the background, that is what that sound is. I'm gonna go ahead, um, even though this is a JPEG, I'm gonna go ahead and open up in Camera Raw. Um, Cause it does need a little bit of noise reduction. I like to do my noise reduction in Camera Raw. And to do that, we're just gonna go over, um, these are tabs across the top. We're gonna go over to the Detail tab. And we wanna make sure that we're zoomed in, our, in on our image um, about 100%. And we're just gonna um, bring the color noise down a little bit. So, well, I, we're raising it up, but this is the percentage of color noise that's getting rid of. So you just wanna raise that until you don't see any more color noise. Um, then we're gonna, we're gonna raise the luminance a tiny bit. Now we don't want our beads to look like plastic. We don't wanna really lose any sharpness. Um, so we can't go too far with this, but um, doing a little bit of noise reduction um, ensures when we do our um, final crisp, like doing a little bit of um, sharpening at the end, um, you won't have a lot of grain and you can see that it just kind of um, lessens some of that grain there in the image. So um, noise reduction is always a, um, is always kind of a balance. So we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna click open image. Um, so this is a little dark. So I am going to go into my actions here. I'm going to play, I have so many actions open. Um, I'm gonna play Let There Be Light. We're gonna lighten that up a little bit. I'm also gonna brighten the midtones, which is gonna make it even lighter. <clears throat> now we wanna look at the actual piece itself. Um, now you're gonna be a better judge of this because this is your piece, so you're gonna know when these colors are right. But we are going to do a couple things to this. One, we're gonna paint on pop. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna, um, it's a paint action. So um, paint on pop is an action where you actually like paint on um, the area that you want to stand out. So we're gonna do this gradually. You always wanna do things gradually when you're doing selective editing because you want it to look, um, you want it to blend in. You don't want like harsh lines or anything. So we're gonna bring down our opacity to around 20%. We're gonna make sure that we have a soft brush. So you wanna make sure your brush is at a hardness of zero. And then since this is a black mask, we need to paint white over it um, for it to show up. So now we're just gonna paint over these beads um, until they have um, some contrast and pop to them. So just, it's, everything's really subtle and that's what you want it to be. You want your changes to be really subtle. So sometimes when I do these um, tutorials, people are like, well, nothing happened. But um, when I turn off the layer and turn it back on, um, you do see that that brought back some of the pop and also um, brought out a little bit of the richness of the blue. And so you can, so that allows you to lighten the rest of the image um, nicely without, um, you know, and still being able to bring back um, the blue. Another thing that you can do is you can, um, in the color correctors, you can actually paint vibrant color. So this is another painting action. So it works the same way. Um, and our brush is already where it needs to be, but you can paint over um, the areas that you want to bring out the color a little bit more. So if your colors look a little dull after you brighten them, um, you can do that and you can see again, it's real subtle, um, but it just brought back some of that blue. And then I'm going to do sparkle and shine um, because these are beads and this is just going to bring, um, this is for jewelry and it's going to bring um, some sparkle and shine to the beads. And you can see again, everything's really subtle. And then if you get over in the areas, um, when I do like a sharpening action like this, I like to, um, because sparkle and shine is, is, is a sparkling action. So when I do that, I like, I'll go over the beads, but then I'll also bring my opacity down even a little bit more. We're gonna like blend out the edges a little bit so we don't have just this like, um, cause when you do focus, like when, you know, when something's sharp, um, 
it's in focus. And so you want to, if you're doing anything to like kind of sharpen an area, you want to make sure that you kind of blend in that sharpening because otherwise it's going to look, um, unnatural. So we just, so what I did was, um, I went over the beads. So the beads are more sharp, but then I also just very low opacity, just kind of blended it in a little bit. So, um, it looks a little bit more natural with the sharpening. Then, um, and then the very last thing I will do here is run the crisp finish, which just gives the overall image just a little bit of um, crisp, crispness and um, a little bit of crispness and um, pop. Now, over here, we talked about how this is kind of a noisy image. And you can see here, when I, when I zoom in, there's just some graininess. So there is an action that I have that will um, that will kind of help with this graininess. Now this action is not to create fake blur. We are not creating fake blur. We already have an image that has a shallow depth of field. We already have an image that has um, some blur here. So we are going to do a little bit of bokeh and this is just going to help soften up some of that grain there. So that's all I'm doing. I'm not, um, I'm not, putting blur where there's not blur. Um, this action takes a little bit to run, but it's worth it. Um, it's just, so don't think there's something wrong. A lot of the actions are pretty quick, um, but this one can take a little bit to run. So again, with my really soft brush, we're gonna paint over these areas here and we're gonna soften up um, just so that grain isn't so noticeable. So I'm just painting over the areas that already have a shallow depth of field. I'm not adding blur where there's not already blur. Um, and you can see um, that just kind of softened up that grain a little bit, um, just so it's not so noticeable. We're going to do it over here too, where there's a little bit of grain and there. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the before and after. Group these. Okay, so here's the before and here's the after. Yay! All right. Hope that helped. Bye.